So I thought we'd talk today about the great email that you got from a gynecologist. Oh, it's so perfect. It is so perfect. Every time she examines a woman, a pelvic exam, she, the woman apologizes. I'm sorry I'm not groomed or I was going to do this. I think it might smell a little. It's the end of my period. Exactly. I think I have a pimple there or whatever. It's just. <laughs> I think I have an ingrown hair. <laughs> it's unsightly. <laughs> and never has she ever had a man apologize. Well, think about it. You're going in there. It's like you're paying your doctor to be there, even if it's your insurance carrier. So it's like paying for a service. See, here's the thing. We don't look at our vulvas. And most of our lovers don't really go down there with the good light and look at our vulvas. Unless you've taken a workshop with us. <laughs> and then you know it's beautiful and you're like, check out my shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the highlight of the, of the first day. It's like... That's the healing. Because massive, it's massive healing. Absolutely massive healing. So, you know, the guys that you have a woman, a girlfriend, go down and look at her vulva and tell her how beautiful it is. Give it a compliment. You know... You know, this past workshop, because it was a certification workshop for women that are going to go on and run their own workshops and we're training. Yes. When you were going over the, the anatomy, the internal clitoris, the G-spot. I love that photograph you took. It Wasn't that a good one? And you cupped your hands together and you said to think that all of this complexity no. is in an area of your body this big. So what is that, like eight inches <laughs> max by like six inches? And all this, the erectile tissue, all these, beauty, it's fascinating. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a very complex, dynamic organ. I mean, talk about functional. Wow. And that it can create a baby. And that you have this organ, the clitoris, that also has an internal part and as much erectile tissue as men. And it exists solely for pleasure, just so wow. you can get off. That's yes. it. Yeah. No yeah. other reason. <laughs> you don't pee out of it? I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know. In other words, women, you have been blessed. And and guys, you know, and you love getting in there and, and playing with them. Just compliment your girlfriend when you're doing oral sex. Just yeah. pull back a moment and say, that's beautiful, honey. I just love the way your, your pussy looks or whatever you want to call it. And I really appreciate it and stuff like that. Help her to feel good about her own sex organ. It would, I know when Grant did that for me, it was like, So wow. healing. Oh, wow. See, I'm not sure why I never had any shame about it. And it's the one thing, my parents were very religious, but my mom was very into like hygiene and knowing about your body and it was comfortable and I saw my parents naked. So it was normalized for me. I think when we don't see images, you say of, of real genitals, we don't see our parents naked. We don't watch real images of sexuality. It creates this kind of like syndrome. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, what they're looking at is they're looking at the porn stars vulvas, which have all been uh, surgically altered. altered. That, you know, they've gotten rid of their inner lips. And so, and I know that's one of the things that they apologize about, you know. My inner lips are, are too long. But to think of apologizing at your gynecologist's office, like this is a doctor that's serving you. You're paying to be there. Yeah, please. It's like, what? But I, you know, think about that though. How much trauma you're carrying around that when you go there and your doctor's in there and you're waiting for them to say something, like something's wrong. <laughs> you're you're going to go, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the time I said to my gynecologist, you never check my clitoris. She said, I beg your pardon. I did. And I said, I didn't feel anything. She says, no, I look at it. I pulled the foreskin back. She didn't say foreskin. Hood? Hood. I pulled the hood back. She did. She claimed that she did look at it. She didn't. But anyway, I bet from then on she did. So the point is, is that I was in charge. Yes, but, yes, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Not life, passive. My not, life is not a normal, regular kind of life. But I wish that as women we could get to that point. Yes. That point of entitlement. Yes. Where we're not looking for a permission. We're not apologizing. We're not waiting for someone to give us a raise. We're not waiting for a compliment. We go in and go, yeah, check out this. This Take is it. my sex organ. Take it. It's amazing. I have multiple orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> so, vulva love, pussy love. Clit love, whatever you want to call it. Love that sex organ, honey, because it's the best one you can get. Lucky us.